Mr. Tin, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how users can change the status of their Amazon EKS worker node from not ready or unknown status to ready status. Let's get started. Let's first talk about nodes and parts. You can schedule parts on nodes that are in the not ready or unknown status. You can only schedule parts on a node that is in the ready status. Now, let's talk through some common issues and see how to check a node that's in the not ready or unknown status. To enable the Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service Worker Node to work in the Amazon VPC networking environment, Amazon EKS supports Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Networking with the Amazon VPC Container Network Interface plugin for Kubernetes. The plugin is responsible for allocating VPC IP addresses to Kubernetes nodes and configuring the necessary networking for paths on each node. We can call it the Amazon VPC CNI plugin that is deployed with each of your Amazon EKS worker node in a daemon set with the name AWS node. Qproxy, deployed as daemon set on each Amazon EKS worker node, maintains network rules on each Amazon EC2 node as well. An Amazon VPC CNI plugin or Qproxy that is not working well can cause nodes to change to not ready status. So let's check to see if the AWS node path and Qproxy path are running normally. Open your terminal. We can check this path with Qcontrol get path command. Here we can see that some of the CNI plugin paths are in running status, but one of the paths is in crash loop back off. We can use kubectl describe path and the kubectl logs command to get additional information when we see that a path is not in a running status. However, if no path is listed with kubectl get path command, first, let's check the daemon set with kubectl describe daemon set command. Now, to make sure that the versions of AWS Nod and kubeproxy are compatible with the cluster version, Let's get a version with kubectl get daemon set commands. If your EKS worker node is in unknown status, then check these attributes, the network configuration between nodes and the control plane, the status of the kubelet, whether the Amazon EC2 API endpoint is reachable, the worker node instance profile, and the config map. To allow the network traffic from the EKS node group access to the EKS control plane. Make sure that no network access control list rule block traffic between the Amazon EKS control plane and your worker nodes. Make sure that the security groups for your control plane and nodes allow the traffic from each other. And then check the routing table. Let's see how to check the traffic from the worker node to the EKS API server. First, let's get the EKS API server endpoint with this AWS CLI command, and then copy the EKS API server endpoint. Next, let's log in to an EKS worker node. Install the nc command with yum command. Now, check the connection from the EKS worker node to the EKS API server with nc command. If the nc command can connect to the EKS API server, check the route table to see whether it's associated with an internet gateway or net gateway. If the cluster is in a private network, check if the VPC endpoint is configured correctly. Kubelet, a Kubernetes node engine, is responsible for registering the worker node to EKS cluster. Let's see how to check if Kubelet is working as expected on an EKS worker node. First, we will log in to the EKS worker node Next, to check if Kubelet is running, we will use system control command to check Kubelet. If the Kubelet isn't in the running status, we can use system control command to restart Kubelet. To check the Kubelet logs, run the general control command. For example, if the worker node is missing the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance rule, we might see a Kubelet log that looks like this. The CNI plugin needs to call Amazon EC2 API to allocate IP addresses 
and to use the Create Network Interface API. Let's see how to check if the EKS worker node can communicate with the Amazon EC2 API endpoint for this region. First, we'll log into the EKS worker node. Then, let's run the msd command to check the Amazon EC2 API endpoint. Remember to replace the region name in this command with the region where the worker node is located. Let's make sure that the worker node has the right AWS identity and access management policy. First, we'll check the EC2 instance role on the EC2 console. Choose EC2. Now, choose instances on the left-hand side. Next, choose the worker node instance ID. Choose the security tab. Then, find the instance role. Here, let's make sure that the instance at least has Amazon EKS worker node policy and Amazon EC2 container registry read only. To confirm that the worker node instance role is in the AWS auth config map, run this Q control command. You should see the IAM role ARN in AWS auth config map. So now you know how to check the potential causes for worker nodes that are in the not ready or unknown status by checking the CNI plugin, QProxy, the network configuration, the status of Kubelet, the EC2 API endpoint, and worker node instance profile. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.